Hello, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to talk about making journals, uploading to KDP on Amazon with files that I created for you. Now I'm Julie and let's get started. So most of you probably already have your PDF and you're ready to go. If you do not have your PDF from me, I have an Etsy store. There's a description below this video and in that you will find the link to my store. You can go on there and purchase one of the sizes that you need. If you don't see a size you need, then please just comment and I will create that size for you. Um, and then these directions are super simple, easy to walk through. If you have any questions, please let me know and um, I'll try to make it clearer for you. So you're going to log on to Canva. If you have a free account, I think this will still work. However, you can click the link in my description of this video to receive a free Canva Pro account for 30 days. And you're just gonna go over to create a design. And at the bottom, you're gonna do the import PDF. Here you're going to select the download that you purchased of your template for the book that you want to make and it should load it over here and then you're just going to click on that actual document and it will bring it up and then um, if you want to do the survey over here they always bring up that survey because they're still testing the pdf function and here you go so the spine is something you're going to just keep in mind when you're placing your fonts and your pictures the barcode, you're just gonna to wanna to keep in mind, they're gonna put a barcode here in case you wanna put any graphics or words. You're gonna to wanna to leave this space in this general area available. Back cover will be on this side, front cover will be on this side. Now, if you're completely new to Canva, you're gonna to wanna to spend a little time getting to know this section over here. This is where you add your text and you can choose um, for um, some of the things down here that are already put together and just change the words or um, you will click here, your text will appear and then you can choose the actual fonts by clicking up here and your size is here. You can change your color right here. So those are things if you don't know, you're gonna wanna play around with. This photos button is something you're gonna wanna be familiar with as well. Um, this is where you're going to find some good pictures for your cover. You can also go down to background if you kind of want a plain cover. This is beautiful, I believe. Um, fits great on a cover. You would just, you know, add what you want. Notes or my journal or things like that. So I'm actually going to use this one because it's already pretty easy set. Otherwise, you're going to size it. Um, I'll show that to you real quick. Let's say you want to use this one. Click on it, it should appear nice. It already fills the space nicely. Um, if you pick pictures or photos up here, you're going to have to size them yourself. Usually drag like this to fill in that space, but I'm not gonna use that. So now you're going to, your black back cover could be left blank if you'd like. You're going to want to delete the barcode because they will put their own barcode there. So just click and delete. The spine is there for you to gauge where you want your text. This line here, it's good to leave all text on the outside, on the inside of this line. Over here, you don't want anything over here or it could get cut off. Same with your images. You're gonna wanna make sure it goes strictly to the edge. You don't want any white spaces showing or you're gonna have problems when you go to upload. You're going to type your front, like the words you want. You can just replace it here. I'm just gonna say my journal. And then you would delete the things you don't need. Once you get everything kind of lined up where you want it, you can delete the spine portion. You're gonna kind of eyeball it there between here and here is where you want it to be lined up. But keep in mind, don't really put much past this line or KDP will reject if it's too far over. So I think that looks pretty good. Don't forget to delete and delete. And then you have your journal. You'll just go up here to download it. Make sure you download it as a PDF for print. Save it however you'd like so you can find it. I always save mine as size and the cover name. Maybe you could put 
desert cover 6x9 or something like that for this one. So you can always find it and um, not lose it because once you start creating a lot of journals, you're going to have a lot in your documents. All right, that's it. Now you should have your journal cover and you know where to go from here. If not, check some of my other videos out. I have videos on uploading to KDP. I have videos on creating interior pages. Um, and so just check out this channel and see if you find something that will help you. And make sure you subscribe too. Um, and if you need anything else from me, just comment and I will get back to you. Thank you.